we have the black sight ornaments from window fireworks you'll see these are noted as six inch shells and there's 18 total in this kit we're gonna be using 12 of these 18 shells in this video fiberglass mortar the shells do have the effects on them, but it's very hard to read. This one says red palm ring. If you find this video entertaining, please leave a like and consider subscribing so you do not miss future content. Okay, we're gonna light all 12 of these shells, no particular order. These six here are gonna be saved for a future video, maybe a comparison video or something of the like. Because I really want to see the effects of each shell, we're going to use 16 second per foot fuse, and I'm going to zigzag across all of these, no finale. There's really no particular way to do this. I'm going to start at the end, wire this one first, and then zigzag back to the beginning. Breaks, damn. I like those whistle tails. Alright, you see this guys? That shell, blue, coming out of the tube. Completely destroyed that tube. Now you'll notice, while my fuse broke, so the last seven shells did not go, the rack itself is intact. And that's because these are all spaced. So you'll see like right here where my shadow is, that spacer just barely got damaged. That tube is kind of out of place, but it still went upright and the fuse broke here. But if it wouldn't have broke, the rest of these shells would have all went successfully because I have spacers in this rack. If this was a dense pack rack, such as a milk crate, it would have sent these tubes all over the place, all over my field. That would have been a bad day. Back at the pyro shop inspecting the damage and really I lost that tube. That one's a little bit warped, so I'll probably replace it. The spacer there in the middle, obviously, and both side rails are destroyed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the screws from the end take the center row out or place the side rails and that spacer those two tubes and we should have our 18 shot rack back up and running in no time okay so i just realized that there's staples in all these you'll see they're really nice long staples i don't have an easy way to get those out so my plan right now is to remove the screws and then i can tap the board out Then I can remove the staple in the middle this way and put the board back on. Gentle tap. You know, I can actually salvage this sideboard, cut it somewhere in here, and use this to, for example, create more spacers. There you go, now we can salvage this half of these boards. Damn, even the screws got jacked up. Not a big deal, but I just realized that the original side rails were true three inch, where these ones are two and a half. That's why these spacers are gonna show at the bottom. Not a big deal, but if you looked closely, you'd notice that I had repaired this rack. Good as new. Perfect timing, you need to charge the battery. And just like that, good as new, let's go shoot the rest of those canister shells. Jeez. Nice ring. One more. Two more. The last two had really nice mines in them too. Love those shells. Yeah.